Hello there folks, my name is Great Mighty Poe, and welcome to my installation guide for the Cinders 1.82 Burning Battle mod. Now first things first, what is Burning Battle? Burning Battle is an add-on for Cinders version 1.82, only Cinders 1.82, does not work on any other version, do not even try, it's only 1.82. Uh, it, what it does, it adds a bunch of really really fancy movesets, a bunch of really cool weapons, and uh, tricks with some of the bosses and adds new armors. Stuff like that. Um, it's really, really cool, and I highly recommend giving it a try if you haven't yet. So, yeah. We're just going to get right into the social guide now, though. So, you're going to need two things. First, we're going to need Cinders 1 8 2. So, you're going to go to the Cinders Nexus page. This will be in the description. Go into Files. And it's going to be slow for me for whatever reason. There we go. And you scroll all the way down here. Just keep scrolling. It's kind of near the bottom here. Lots of the version of Cinders, as you can see, and we're going to need Cinders 1.82. Click on that. Manual download. And slow download. And that's going to get you this Cinders folder here. Cool. Now to get the actual add on. So, another link to be in the description will be to this server here. So, this is the Cinders 1.82 Burning Battle server. This is where the add on is available. The mod author had some issues on Nexus with some pretty horrible commenters. Saying they were stealing stuff, all that stuff. So, yeah. Um, the link will be directly into this channel here. You just react to this message here with uh, that emote. Just click on that and you can access the server. You need to download from Mega. Go to the pin messages up here. And then jump to the whatever the first pin message here is. That's the most recent version. Then you click on that. Just click on that, take it over to another tab. And just click on download and that'll get going um, I've already got downloaded though so yeah one thing to look out for is extra files for updates in this case they're just all for Nameless King but there might be it's like balance patches and stuff like that you might need to install um, it'll tell you where you need to put them so just pay attention to that if there's any updates that you want to add but for this particular one it's just this here this is all you need this here is optional stuff you don't need that cool so we can minimize that, and that's going to get us this. This is what we downloaded. Cool. So now we need to install it. So you need to find your game folder where your Dark Souls 3 EXE is. So, the C, game, Steam is common, Dark Souls 3 game. I can also go into Steam itself, right click on Dark Souls 3 on the left side in your library. Uh, go to manage, go to browse local files, it'll take you to here as well if you can't find it. Uh, it tends to be here though. Uh, might be another drive if you've got another drive. Just Wherever your Dark 3 EXE is, is where you need to be. Cool. Uh, now you need to open up Cinders. Um, I recommend 7-zip for this. Um, Cinders in the past has some issues with WinRAR, so you might it might be a thing still that you need to use 7-zip. Uh, leave a link to 7-zip down in the description. Uh, download that, install it, and use 7-zip. And you need to open it with 7-zip file manager. And yeah. Because that is a .7zip file, so it's best to use 7zip for it. And that gets you this. So, this has got a readme in here. You can read that, it's going to tell you how to install cinders. We don't need any of that though. We just need the cinders folder, modingin.ini, and and dinbot 8 And just drag and drop them into your game folder. And this isn't going to take all that long compared to some of my other install guides actually, because the cinders folder at this time is actually quite small. It didn't get bloated quite so badly. <laughs> Parts folder always takes a little bit though, that's where a lot of the files are unfortunately. As you can see it's not as big as Cinders is these days, it's definitely an older version, it's still pretty cool. And there we go, so we have a Cinders folder, Timput 8 and a Monogen.ini. And we're all set up to run normal cinders now, but now we need to install the add-on. So we can close that. This here doesn't matter what you open it with, but I still recommend 7-zip, so open with 7-zip. You got another cinders folder, and holy patch of files, and another mod engine. So what you want to do is to like drag and select all these, and then drag and drop them into your game folder as well. It's all going to merge together, and it'll all be nice and fine. 
you only have one in this folder at the end of this. If you have more than one in this folder, then you've done something wrong. <laughs> this one is a little bit slower for me. I'm not too, too sure why. There's a lot of parts files here for some of the armors and stuff. There's some really, really strange looking armor in this. Um, recommend trying uh, the uh, black set, uh, Urias set, if you want something really interesting. <laughs> Quite like the knight set and the mirror set though, those are both pretty cool. And there we go. So let's move them over. And it's going to ask you to replace or skip files. You want to make sure to replace the files in the destination. So click on that. And there we go. Now we have a Cinders folder. We have a Dinput 8. We have a Mod Engine. And we have two Hoodie Patcher files. So now we're going to go into Mod Engine. Double click on that. Take a look at some settings in here. So the first one is Block Network Access. Make sure this is on 1 if you don't want to get soft banned. Um, if you want to play online, set it to 0. You'll be fine, but make sure some one if you don't want to get soft banned. Use alternate save file. Um, I recommend using this if you don't want to get your main account. Uh, don't want to risk your vanilla saves, so set it still one. Um, so using an alternate save, and you are not potentially causing your vanilla account to have modded data, which might get you soft banned if you go back to vanilla after uninstalling. So use the alternate save file. It's worth it. Uh, low list parameter if you're on one. The mod, over, mod override directory needs to be slash cinders, and the mod override directory, this one here, needs to be also one. Down the bottom needs to be chain input part chain, d input a dll path or whatever that's saying, and it needs to be slash body patch dot dll. That's all good. So we can close, and we can save that. And now we can actually launch up Docsol 3, which you can make sure things have worked. Uh, it's pretty easy to check to see if things have worked. There's a couple things that you can check that are right at the start of the game. Um, cause yeah, pick up version of Cinders does start you in the tower, like the current versions. Um, so if you're a bit worried that you're not starting in the normal cemetery of Ash, just ignore that as normal. Gundia in this version is particularly tough, so I recommend not taking them on straight away. Come back when you have some really some of the really cool weapons, like the Black Blade. It's pretty good. <laughs> cool. So first we need to check down the bottom since version 1.82. Cool. It's gonna screw me because I didn't quit properly last time. I'm just gonna create a new game. Uh, I'm gonna name this test because it doesn't matter. So you can notice right away if something's right when you scroll down to the knight. Should have it's rather fancy looking armor. So yeah, that's the knight set in the burning battle add-on, so it's a good sign that, that has worked correctly. Now we need to check and make sure the hoodie patcher is working correctly. So we're gonna go samurai. We're gonna finalize creation. Uh because there has been some issues with hoodie patcher. So if you've followed my instructions and something goes wrong with what's gonna happen here, so it's gonna turn the weapon. If your move set does not look like this and you have followed my instructions to the letter, update your Visual C. Um that means hoodie patch is not working and something's wrong. Uh, while I'm explaining stuff as well, if I go down to below 30%, strip off naked, head over here and wake up these hollows. Hey, wakey wakey. Should have a really big dash. Cool. Uh, also, when you're processing set, you have mid roll, so yeah. And yeah. If everything is working right, you've got the move set, it's got the armor looking good, all that's good, then have fun with the mod. You're all done. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed. I hope this has helped. Uh, once again, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.